uh, Congressman Stupak, uh, who has been, you know, anti-choice, pro-life, call him whatever you want, uh, and been looking to, you know, put a provision in the bill that makes getting abortion much, much harder in the country. They finally uh, strike a compromise on that, and Obama says, look, let's not put it in the bill, but I'll do a presidential order making sure that not in, in no way, shape, or form are any federal dollars spent on providing coverage that might lead to abortion. Okay? So they get that deal, and he goes up to give his speech. And I want to give you that clip here, clip number five. No, I'm sorry, um, the shorter version here, um, uh, represent, uh, clip number four, okay? And see if you can hear what one of the Republican congressmen shouts out. The motion to recommit does not promote life. It is the Democrats who have stood up. It is the Democrats who have stood up to spend. Those who are shouting out are out of order. Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, this motion does not promote life. Did you hear it? Uh, one of the congressmen yelled out, baby killer. To Stupak, of all people. Okay, first of all, shouting baby killer to any congressman is outrageous and atrocious and should not be tolerated. Uh, I mean, this isn't a, a, a riot. This isn't a street fight. You're inside of Congress, right? Bounds of reason. Uh, but to Stupak, of all people, who is as pro-life and anti-choice as you can possibly get, almost killed all of health care reform because of his anti-choice stance. So, finally, Representative, Texas Representative, if I'm getting this right, Nugabauer, that's a funny name, <laughs> came out and said, yeah, it was me. Well, I didn't mean Stupak's a baby killer, and I kind of apologized to him. I meant the, the bill is a baby killer. Oh, well, keep it classy then. <laughs> I didn't know that. Well, you're free to go. Why are they doing all this stuff? Why are they putting out the don't tread on me flags and inciting the crowd, applauding the guys who broke into Congress. Imagine if it's a Muslim guy that breaks into Congress, and he comes in and he starts shouting, Allah Akbar! I don't know, as they're debating Israel. I don't know, what, as they're debating anything, right? Can you imagine if the Democrats applaud? They're like, way to go. Allahu Akbar. Right? Not that there's anything wrong with that. Allahu Akbar means God is great. Right? How do you think Fox News would react to that? And how do you think all the whole national media would react to that? Anyway, so the Republicans applaud him, and then they call uh, Stupak or the bill a baby killer. Why? Because Joe Wilson shouted, you lie, while the president was giving his address to the nation, the Republican from South Carolina. And guess what happened? One, he raised a tremendous amount of money from the conservative roots. And so they think, what, can I do that too? And somehow wind up raising all that money? And number two, the Democrats buckled to him. That's what a lot of people don't talk about. Joe Wilson got exactly the language he wanted in the bill. They changed it to suit him. So these guys think, well, if we yell and scream enough, these guys will uh, listen to, you know, will bow their heads. And you might say, hey, wait a minute, Jake, that's not right. They just passed the bill and none of the Republicans voted for it. Except it already has hundreds of Republican amendments that are already in the bill. <laughs> they... they just because they voted no doesn't mean they didn't get what they wanted. Why do you think the bill has no uh, cost control in the first place? Republicans. They won on that. Now, you could say, oh, the Democrats were foolish. How could they have possibly given that to the Republicans and gotten no votes? They're not foolish. They're taking the corporate money. <laughs> the bill helps a lot of Americans, but it helps corporate America more than anything else. You can always tell who's going to win based on where the money is. And that's what happened here. So uh, these guys think, hey, look, we're going to win on the issues. We're going to get more lobbyist money, and we're going to get more conservative grassroots money. And that's why they uh, are doing these crazy antics.